What we're going to do now is demonstrate with Dan a very important principle of radio communication. What's that, Dan? So that principle is that the length at which an antenna works best or is resonant at depends on the physical length of that antenna. So what we are going to do here is measure the SWR of an antenna and then see what happens as we increase or decrease the length of the antenna and try and tune it up for our chosen band. So you've got your dipole antenna there. We also have this. What's this? So this is an SWR meter, so it measures our forward power and our SWR. And I've got the transmitter here to provide us with some RF for our test, so we're ready to go. Correct. What do we need to do first, Dan? So the first this? thing we need to do is we need to adjust the SWR meter such that the power coming out of your transmitter shows us 100% on this forward power meter to allow SWR to be correctly calculated. So shall I give it a little bit of a blast of RF and see where we are now? Sounds good. The power meter's not showing all the way to the end, so do we need to calibrate that to get an accurate SWR? Yes, maybe? so we need to adjust the dial in the middle such that the power meter shows 100%. Oops, that's a little fiddly with my thumb. There we go. There we go, good. And the SWR doesn't look so brilliant though, does it? No. Because we've got end stop on that, and the object of the exercise is to get that as low as possible. Yes, so the ideal SWR is a value of one. Okay. So a dipole antenna should be about half a wavelength long, a one meter total, and this is clearly too short. So what we are going to do is we're going to lengthen the two arms, making sure to keep them the same length, and the VSWR should decrease as we get closer and closer to our antenna working best on two meters. Okay, and can I transmit while we're doing the adjustments? No, we really shouldn't. The actual elements themselves shouldn't be touched, but this metal box in the middle is safe to do so. Okay, so pull those elements out then and we'll do another test. I lengthen them both an amount using a tape measure to check. So each arm is about 44 centimeters, so we should be close, but not quite there yet. So let's see what happens and if you retransmit. Now we can see that because you've made an adjustment, the calibration is off again. So I need to just tweak that so that the power meter is reading all the way to the end then that SWR is accurate, still not good enough. Nope, so let's extend our antenna some more and see if we can do better. Okay. Right, that should be hopefully fairly bang on. Right, let's give it another little burst of RF. Oh, look at that. That's pretty much... Pretty much there? Yeah. Should we go could, try for a little go bit better? a tiny little tweak. Tiny little tweak. Okay, I'm not transmitting. Okay. Oh, that's gone up now. Okay. So you were, you were nearly there before. Yes, so the antenna will not work if it is too long or too short, and we have overshot now. So if we decrease this a bit... And check again. Okay. The moment of truth. And look at that. We have a perfect SWR of one. That's our two meter dipole perfectly tuned. We've demonstrated the principle. And of course, if you had a commercially available antenna like this mag mount to go in your car, it would be trimmed up already to be basically spot on for the band that you're on. But once you actually put it on the car, you can using the Allen keys here, adjust the length of the element up and down very slightly to get a perfect SWR and some people like to cut their own antennas for their mobile use for example so you can mount a quarter wave uh, antenna that you've made yourself onto the car and you would uh, perhaps trim the length of that whilst measuring the SWR uh, as per the principles we've demonstrated here and of course it's not just a two meter or a 70 centimeter small antenna like this that these principles apply to it also applies to HF if the SWR on your dipole is such that it needs shortening, then measure a section from each end, cut, and recheck as we've demonstrated. Oh, and make sure that you cut small lengths equally off each side of the dipole until the SWR is as low as possible for the band you're transmitting on.